Hi everyone, it's me, Debbie Fry, and I'm back for day two of our Novena to St. Brother Andre the Set. And today we're going to talk a little bit about what I would think would be Brother Andre's motto, if he had one. And I bet it would be the same three words that are etched on his tombstone. And those are the words, go to Joseph. Brother Andre had a deep, deep love childlike devotion to St. Joseph, the Holy Father. And because of that, he was able to bring tens of thousands of people to know of St. Joseph and his intercessory power. In fact, whenever one, anyone would receive a miracle, he refused to take any credit. He'd say, oh no, not me, Joseph. Don't thank me, thank Joseph. He's actually even become known as the apostle to St. Joseph because he brought so many people to our quiet Holy Father. And his devotion to Joseph actually began in his childhood. He had a very difficult childhood. Uh, he was one of 12 children. When he was born, uh, he was born very sickly. He had chronic stomach problems. And uh, he actually received an emergency baptism because they didn't expect him to survive. He uh, actually lived to be 91 though. And at the turn of last century, that was pretty remarkable. So um, anyway, so he suffered from this horrible debilitating pain and uh, often his only food would be little tiny balls of bread that he would roll up and then dip in watered down milk because that was all his system could handle. He also lost his own father when he was six years old. His father was a woodworker and also took down trees. And, and maybe that's part of why Brother Andre developed such a strong love for St. Joseph, the carpenter. And when he was six years old, his father died in a very tragic accident where he was taking down a tree and the tree fell on him and killed him instantly. And imagine being six years old and losing your father that way. And six years after that, he lost his mother at the age of 12. She died of tuberculosis. And because Brother Andre was sick and uh, unable to work, as many of the other children could, um, he was sent to go live with other relatives. And so he was also separated from all of his siblings. So he lost his father and his mother and all of his siblings at the age of 12. And it's hard to even kind of fathom what that must have been like. And yet I'm sure that that grief and that pain and that trauma was the fertile soil where the Holy Spirit was able to sow a deep love and understanding of St. Joseph. And Brother Andre became deeply devoted to him. He really took St. Joseph as his spiritual father. When he would pray, he would be lost in in conversation in his mind with St. Joseph. And thank goodness he did, because look at how many of us have now come to know St. Joseph because of him. So now I'll lead you in our Novena prayers again. Remember, it's the Novena prayer to St. Andre, and then three Our Fathers, three Hail Marys, and three Glory Bees. Will you pray with me now? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, you chose Saint Brother Andre to spread devotion to Saint Joseph and to dedicate his life to the poor and afflicted. Grant through his intercession the favors that we now request for a renewed spirit of evangelization in our parish. Grant me the grace to imitate his piety and charity, so that with him I may share the rewards promised to all who care for their neighbors out of love for you. I make this prayer in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, her spouse, pray for us. And Saint Brother André Besset, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.